Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So I thought I would give you an update to um, what's been going on and what I am aiming to do for 2021. So at the end of last year, I kind of came to a conclusion that my channel wasn't really doing very well. Um, I don't know if it's because of me, I've lost my way a little bit. Or I'm just confusing people with my channel. I, didn't, I just don't know um, without your guys, you guys telling me, I'm kind of just at a, at a loss really. But after speaking to a lot of people that I've um, represented or I've, I've done in the past, like small businesses and other YouTubers, they kind of said, why don't you just take a long break and just don't do as many videos. I was, I was throwing out lots of videos guys and I will say I was filming probably about five times in the week and then I was editing for about a whole week. And now that I'm homeschooling Zach and I've got my condition, which has got worse, I'm kind of having to take a little time out for myself because I was just burning myself out completely. So I decided that I wanted to quit my channel, guys. And I was completely, I'm completely sure that that's what I wanted. I got rid of my studio. I sold my table. I sold half of my stock, my, my makeup, my equipment. Um, the only thing I didn't sell was my box lights, my camera, my stands and stuff like that and I did keep a couple of my backdrops um, just in case but I got rid of the majority of the things and I give my studio up to my husband so he can carry on our little business that we're doing which is like a tree business. He can use a conservatory as a massive big greenhouse. And that's what I planned to do. And I, I came away from YouTube altogether. But then I found out there's so many people that have messaged me are so humble and so nice and with really nice positive critic criticism, critiques. And it just made me think maybe it wasn't so bad what I was, I was pulling out. And if people did have an issue with what I was putting out, I'd appreciate them f to be honest with me. And nobody's really come to me and said, well, don't do this and don't do that or do this and do that. I ended it there, I created my channel way, way back. We've gone past two years now, guys. It was two years at the beginning of January. 15th of January, it was two years. So happy two years, guys. And to them that have stuck by me from the beginning and those that have just come along, welcome and thank you for supporting my channel. Um, I may seem like I'm coming across as a bit negative, but you know, everybody's feeling that way at the minute with the way the world is. And I don't need to mention it because I don't want to mention it. But you know, I've I've literally been homeschooling Zach since last year. It's coming up to a year that I've had Zach at home. Zach has got learning difficulties and he's autistic as well with sensory processing disorder. It's not easy. When you're disabled yourself and your husband's trying to get his business off the ground and finish his PhD and do a little business for us to... We've got so many plans that we want to do and it's just... It's just hard because there's not enough hours in the day, but there is enough hours in the day if that makes sense. I don't want the day to last any longer than what it already does. <laughs> oh no. Um, but it, it, it's got really, really difficult for me um, to film and edit and homeschool and have, there's times where I just come in my room and I get my books and I'll sit and I'll just, I'll, I'll be comfortable and I'll just read or I'll put my, what say her name, cause she'll, she'll, start speaking I'll put some soft music on there and I'll just relax and that's just my quiet time I was even thinking of getting my coffee machine back in here or a tea machine or something so when I am really bad I don't have to go too far um, most of you know what I've got as far as my disabilities um, it's not something I was born with like I've said before I got I got this from the age of 10 years old through a, a, an accident that I had, a childhood accident and it kind of progressed through my life and I didn't know that this, this accident had caused so much damage through my body until I got old. When I have them days where pain's bad, I'm not alone, I know a lot of people are having this issue. Some people have good days, some people have bad days. I have more bad days than I do good. I'm in pain constantly and my pain doesn't go away, I just learn to manage it. And when you get a new pain on top of the old pain, you're then distracted by the new pain and you're trying your best to. For me now, the pain in my back, I can feel it, but it don't bother me as much as my neck. My neck is hurting me tremendously. They've put me on a proxin. It's ripping my stomach apart. I'm being sick every night after my meals. I don't know why. I'm just, 
just bile keeps coming up and I've got stomach ache and ugh. so I've not really been in the mood guys to be filming anything but I did say to myself 2021 what do I need to do what do I need to change I don't want to be one of them cliches or oh, I'm going to do this I'm going to do that I'm going to do this because I never do it what I am going to do this year guys <laughs> which you probably just in my makeup haul and gone huh I'm doing a no buy for 2021 of certain items and I promised I was going to do this way way back before we turned to 2021 because I said to my husband I need to do something because I have wardrobes full of clothes that I don't wear I have jewellery everywhere that you know I've only got one body um I got too many pairs of shoes that I'm not even going to go there they're in the loft they're in here they're under my bed they're in my cupboard they're everywhere so I said to my husband that's it that's it only things for my birthday or Christmas or special occasion may I get things like jewellery and clothing or makeup or anything like that but for 2021 there's going to be no buying of beauty products unless I've run out and I need that beauty product that's excluding things like um wet pads because I, I, I'm not afraid to admit it because I've got women in my bladder stitched to my back wall so I do have incontinent issues I've got a damaged uh, urethra so I do have issues there um, things like you know like body roll on um, shampoo conditioner things like that that I'm always going to end up buying constantly because I need it but things like palettes and um, powders and anything like that if I've got enough of it don't buy it that that's that shoes there's only one pair of shoes that i want to complete my mission and that's them new rocks once i get them i'm a happy bunny i don't want to buy any more shoes from um um yo la Moda because i've had do two pairs of shoes i've bought from la Moda recently guys if you want me to do a video on that let me know they've both been damaged and i've had to try and rectify both um but because i bought them last year i can't exactly do anything about it so no shoes no shoes at all there's no excuses for that i've got plenty of shoes the only shoes i'm allowed to buy are them new rocks if i ever get to them um no more clothing unless it's for underwear bras knickers um jammers because jammers is my my go-to my comfort loungewear if i've got enough loungewear i don't need any but things like clothes from necessary evil kate's clothing killstar disturbia gothic clothing anything like that spiral delect emp no 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 i have bought some clothes for my birthday but that's different doesn't count um and no more jewelry I, I hate saying that because i really want to support a lot of small independent businesses and a lot of them are jewelry but i can't justify having <laughs> all this jewelry um i, I am still going to keep to some homework homework because i will be buying for our, our new home some things like that i'll probably buy and put away like prints or from grimly fiendish crafts or rebel soul anything like that or from um eerie touch anything like that i will keep gemma craft studio as well i will keep buying them and put them away i won't necessarily display them i'll put them in a box ready for when we move i've got all that ready um and that's about it really guys um hair products i put down as necessities toothpaste and everything like that hair dye there is nothing else there is nothing else i will still buy my melts because i put that as part of my homely needs of cleaning and stuff i may still buy the odd homework because i do like to buy things but my aim this year is to pay off as much bills as i've, as I've got or put in a jar and save for christmas so i don't have to worry about christmas anything like that guys so no buy 2021 if you guys want to join in please do so you can create your own rules my rules is no shoes no clothing no jewelry no makeup unless it's certain brands scarlet and chains you're an exception um i ben does still buy if they're bought for you you can't put that into the equation that's it guys so that's my no buy for 2021 that will include this lot here so i won't be buying any creatures um i can't i can't tell you for certain if i'll not buy any of these little dudes <laughs> because i just love it this is Zach's, by the way but he somehow got into my bedroom i just don't know how 
but yeah things like soft toys I probably will still buy like cushions and stuff guys because I class that as like my homeware um, bedding I will still buy but yeah that is it guys take care let me know what you think and anything that you want to see in 2021 comment below and let me know I will still be doing the odd small businesses guys I do have a cut box coming up so it's back so I don't know what that's all about but I'm, I'm excited to see as you know I've got some kind of a back feature going on here you're gonna fall off that chair stick it get fall on him all right guys take care and i'll see you in my next one sorry i've been a little bit quiet but i promise i will try and get more videos on for 2021 but if you can pop me some some ideas down below that would be really really great um or any businesses that i haven't tried that you think i may like that's alternative let me know and if you want to see all the makeup that i've bought recently some gothic makeup looks let me know if you guys don't tell me i don't know and i won't do it unless i'm told to all right before I go, I bought a toe ring guys, I know, I know, this was actually for my birthday off Ben But I got a little toe ring, it's a little pentacle, pentagram pentacle, it goes on my toe, I love it I'm gonna go and order another one, this store was from Etsy um, I don't know much about it, I found it in the middle of the night while I was bored I will pop the, the details down below if you want to go and see, it's 925 silver amazing it took three four days to come came in a baby box like this amazing i will pop her details down below from etsy if you want to go and check out her store i'll be back to order some more from her because i thought she was pretty good all right guys i'll pop the name up here because i can't think at the minute what the name of the shop was it was a, a 3 a.m browse or 4 a.m browse you know how it goes all right guys take care and i'll see you on the next one bye for now don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.